I am so scared because I've never taught anyone anything. I've never tried to help anyone. People are always helping me. How am I? How did I get this job? Hello, welcome back to another Dummy Codes video where I have a stupidly, ridiculously hyper intro and then I die down. So Dummy Codes, if you're new, is about, you know, motivating people, talking about, you know, my own personal experiences. And sometimes we do some coding on here. Um, if you're new here, I literally just got a software engineering job by talking about coding and someone liked my attitude and I got a job. So with that being said, keep pushing. You never know what could happen. Keep putting yourself out there. Today I have another unscripted video because I feel like it's very important. It's, it's, it's one of the biggest life lessons that I've ever had in terms of just taking a risk on yourself and believing in yourself. And also I was broke, but that's far, that's, that's a side to it. There's one tip that I feel like every software developer or every self-taught person, every college student, every whatever, if you're trying to learn anything about software engineering or software development or anything that does this, you know, one tip. This is for anyone learning anything because I feel like it fits. The number one tip and the only things you focus on to becoming a better self-taught software engineer or developer or anything like that, literally teach. How the hell, Larry, am I supposed to teach someone when I don't know what I'm doing myself? That's what I asked myself when I had to teach someone something, right? Let me talk about me real quick because we love to hear about that, don't we? So when I was in my boot camp, the software developer boot camp that I went to, they have a system, right? After you reach a certain point in the boot camp, you could become a tutor to other people coming up in the cohort. So they call us team leads, right? So being a team lead, where does that ensue? In team leads, you know, you do stand-ups. And if you don't know what a stand-up meeting is, it's just when you come uh, together at the end of the day and you talk about what's going on, you address some issues, and it's like a 30-minute meeting or an hour or whatever. But point is, in my scenario, it was typically a 30-minute meeting at the end of the day, right? I had a great team lead when I went to my boot camp, right? My boot camp was, you know, I, I just had someone who was ready to sit there like two hours, three hours after they were supposed to clock off and help me figure out my issues and debug code with me, right? And I always looked at them, I was like, wow, this is such a great programmer. Like, how do you get here, right? And they also have, they also had a very unconventional like learning journey, but I used to just admire the fact that they were able to solve problems so fast every single time. And I used to be like, when, when, I, when will I unlock that, bro? Like, when the hell would I get to, when, when is it going to be my chance to just look at a line of code for like two seconds and figure out the exact problem, right? So later on in a in couple weeks or a couple months past, don't remember, whatever, a couple months pass and she tells me, she starts trying to convince me you should be, you know, a team lead. And I was like, are you dumb? I didn't say, are you dumb? Because she's... <laughs> But I was just looking at her, I was like, are you serious? Like, why would I be a team lead? You know how I work. Like, I'm slow. I am very slow. You think I'm going to help someone else when I can't even help myself? Are you serious, bro? And she said, no, it is a great chance to get better. Like, she kept trying to hype me up to do it. She was like, you'd be great. You're great at asking questions. You're great at helping people. You know, you're very easy to talk to. And I said, yeah, but I'm dumb, bro. <laughs> I'm stupid right now. I feel so stupid because everyone else around me was so much smarter than me. And again, I, that didn't make me insecure, but I just knew I'm not, I don't have a giant ego to be like, I'm still a better programmer than this person. Well, obviously they're way better than me, right? I admired that. I love that about them. That's why I got to ask some questions. But I started realizing one thing. One, I was broke my my savings running out <laughs> and two um they the people that i always ask questions to i would always come with the weirdest way to ask i didn't even know how to ask my question right but they were so ecstatic about helping me every single time you know why that is it's because that was a chance for them to learn i talked to one of my group members once and they said i just i don't mind helping because that's another chance for me to learn another chance for me to get better 
if you see a problem a thousand times, it's going to stick and you're going to get better and better at solving it, right? And that's what they were doing. They actively went out to help other students, even though it wasn't their job. They were a student themselves and they actively went out to help other people because, hey, why not? You benefit and they benefit, right? I'm going broke, right? <laughs> And, you know, team leads get paid and I'm just like, you know what, I'll do it. And I wasn't taking into account the fact that I'll become a better person after this. I wasn't, I wasn't taking into account that I become a better program after this. I was just like, you know what, I'm going to do it. So I go ahead and apply and I get the team lead position and I'm scared, bro. I am so scared because I've never taught anyone anything. I've never tried to help anyone. People are always helping me. How am I? So, how did I get this job? And every time someone asked me a question, I would freak out. I would freak out so much because I'm just like, uh, like, what, what if I don't know? Like, I hope they don't ask me a question. But every time someone did ask me a question, if I didn't know the answer right away, I was able to work through the problem with them. And I was able to explain code clearly. And once I started becoming more comfortable with that, I was able to tackle bigger problems from the group members that I was overseeing, right? And I was like, you know what? This is this is kind of cool. <laughs> this is kind of useful to me. So that is my own personal story about, you know, teaching others, you know? Chances are you're doing something that's very technically difficult and you're trying to learn something that's very technically difficult and sometimes it's going to be hard to just, you know, where am I supposed to go help people? I'm not in a boot camp like you. Where am I supposed to go help people? Go on the internet, man. Go on Stack Overflow. Ask, answer a couple questions if you can. Go on GitHub. Go on some Discord. Go on Reddit. Anything. I, I think Reddit has a channel where you can ask people, you know, for homework help. Or the people ask for homework help and you help them. Like anything you could possibly do in a way where you could try to explain your code, explain logic is going to benefit you so much more because that's what you got to do in these interviews, man. You got to explain your code and you don't want to sound like you're guessing too much or otherwise I'm going to like, oh, he obviously doesn't know what he's talking about or she doesn't know what she's talking about. So do your best in, you know, putting yourself always, always, always put yourself in uncomfortable situations because you're just going to learn from that. Nobody in the history of ever has ever has ever nobody in the history of the U United States. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Nobody in the history of the his, the his, Jesus Christ, nobody in the history of ever, okay, has ever not improved, has ever improved by just not challenging themselves. You get me? Like in practice, when I, when I, when I used to do track in high school, oh God, I've become one of those people who talks about high school like it was their glory days. It wasn't. I'm just making an example. <laughs> but in high school, when I used to do track, the meet wasn't the hardest part. When I went to a track meet, that was not the hardest part. The hardest part was going to practice every single day and trying to push myself every single day. Granted, I lean more on my natural abilities and actual hard work. But that's just an example of... <laughs> you guys get what I mean, though. Track was... Oh, God, that was boring. Anyways, you could really you could really just sit here for hours and just Google and Google and Google ways to get better as a programmer. But at the end of the day, the number one thing that's going to help you is to put yourself in uncomfortable situations and try to answer or fix or explain your code. You know, just just go ahead and try to teach Stack Overflow, Reddit, wherever you can. Go ahead and try to help someone else. It's crazy because that theme just persists in life. You get better when, whenever you, you get better, you get more out of life when you try to help other people, right? So why not do that? It's a selfish way of looking at it, but really, if you don't like, and it's going to do way more for you in terms of your technical abilities. Yes, it's going to help you. But in terms of just being able to communicate with others, if you struggle with that naturally, that's going to give you a chance to, you know, learn and deal with a bunch of different questions and a bunch of different personality types, because that's what you're going to have to do day to day in your office or when you work in a business somewhere or if you work for yourself, you know, you're going to have to deal with a bunch of different characters. So why not get better? You know, why, why not improve your social skills and why not improve your technical skills by just teaching? Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you. I'm sorry I look like a bum. I'm not. I'm just padding runtime at this point. Jesus Christ, here is the end screen.